In the last video, guys, we had a look at um, our conduit systems. We talked about the different types of conduit, our rigid conduit, our corrugated conduit, junction boxes, some other fittings that we can use. Um, but what do we do and how to get all of our wires through there? What happens if you know we get a wire and we try to stick it through there? And this happens quite often, especially on corrugated conduit systems where it gets caught up here, exactly there. Now I can't even get that wire in there. How do we get that through? Do I have to pull it all apart and do it again? No, no. So typically in the electrical industry, in the electronics industry, cabling industries, what we'll do is there's a few ways that we can do it. So as we're uh, setting up our conduits, what we can do is put what we call a draw wire or a draw rope or a pull rope through the conduit system itself, especially on the big runs. So what that allows us to do is we put a string or a wire, rope, whatever, through the conduits and we have it come out the other end. And then what we can do is we get the, we get it, we tie our cable to it and we can pull it through. Nice and easy. The other option is what I've done in the past is we can use vacuum cleaners. So we can have normally fold up a ball of plastic or something else, wrap a whole heap of tape around it, put what we call a jet line string on it, and we stick it in one end of the conduit, and we stick a vacuum cleaner up the other end of the conduit. conduit. We make sure that this is all sealed, and we suck it through. So that allows us to get that uh, jet line through the conduit system itself, and then same thing, we tie our cable to it, and we pull it through. Nice and easy. What if we can't do that? Simple. We use one of these. So I've got two different snakes here. So this is just a Milwaukee snake. Both of these snakes are fiberglass snakes. They're very easy to use, no problems at all. These have got basically um, these ends on. Um, you can tie your cable to it. You can tape your cable to it or whatever. So you push this through the conduits, you get it to where you need it, and then you tie your cable to it. And then you pull it back through. So that's... I think uh, this Milwaukee one might have been $100, $150, something like that, from our local tool supplier. And then there's this one here, excuse me, this one here. And you can probably tell it's had a bit of use, it's been around for a while, oh, this one. So it's seen uh, plenty of time on site. As you can see here, what, the, what we've done in the past is actually taped um, a cable to it and pulled it through. So let's do it. Let's uh, have a look at that and see how we see how we do that. You can basically get it out of the cradle like so. Then all we do, very very simple, we stick this in through one end and we start poking through. It's already through here. So if I wanted it to come out there, I can pull it through. If I wanted to keep going, let's move that out of the way. If I wanted to keep going, obviously. I just get that out of my way, poke it back through into the next one, push it in. And I just keep feeding it. Now that's got a bit of a... Oh, look at that, it's already through the end there. Now I didn't screw those on so they've come off. They do get a bit of a twist in them because of what I did there before. And then I don't want to come out this end, I want to go into this junction box here. So all I do is simply pull that back up, pull it out here, pull a little bit through so I've got enough, and then again push it back through there. Oops, my board's moving. And then if I want to, I'll push it down through there. And I will do that because then we can Pull, tie a cable to it and we can pull it back through. So all I do here is I pull the inspection cover off of this junction box and then I feed my snake down through there. Easy. And you can do this on big long runs without any problems at all. And then if what, I, what I'll typically do, because this is a nice short run, I won't have any problems pulling that through if it's just tied together or tied on there with a bit of insulation tape. So 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to strip this back a little bit and I'm going to tie the wire itself to the, to the snake. Alright, so let's come back easy. I'm going to, I'm actually going to cut one of those off. So one of the, one of the things that we don't want is any, anything that's going to protrude or cause, um, create any reason for it to get jammed up inside of those conduits. So I cut that second conductor off to make sure that that wasn't going to happen. Alright, twist him up a little bit, come over here. Let me pull a bit more through. So all I do now is basically use this end, this wire, feed it through the eye there in that loop. Like so, and then just twist it around itself. And that's it. Now this is going to be relatively easy to pull back through. I shouldn't have any problems with this at all, even doing it by myself. Sometimes on the big long runs you'll have a, a couple of guys doing this. One guy up here and pulling the snake back through and another guy feeding it through on this end. But this should be relatively easy. Let's see if we can get it through. I'll have to feed it there. And there we go. That took about five seconds to get that through. Easy as, no problems at all. You can do the same thing on, um, you know, far bigger systems. Corrugated conduit can be a bit tricky. I'll have to guard this. Let's see if we have any luck with this quarry. And the reason it can be a bit tricky is obviously because it's got all the edges there. The corrugations and everything can, the cable and the snake can get caught up on those. And what we do sometimes, if that's the case, what we'll do is uh, pull the corry back out, run your cable through it, and basically, uh, yeah, do, do it little bit by little bit. Now, I don't want to do that. So I've cut my cable off that end. I'll get rid of that. There we go. Get that out of the way. Get a wire off of there. And let's see if we have any success feeding that through. Yep. Go from this other side. There we go. It's through. Alright, through the quarry. A couple of bends there and everything. Come through from that side. That was nice and easy. If I try and come from this side, it's not quite as easy because I've got this bend straight back here. It wants to get caught up on it because it's getting caught up on the corrugations. Okay, a lot easier coming from this side. Straight through. No problems at all. I'm going to try that other one. Um, Typically these snakes have a couple of different types of ends on them. So this one here, as you can see, is quite rigid. The fiberglass snake itself goes straight to the tie, tie end. We'll just feed that back through into the holder itself. And then you can see on the other end, it's more flexible because we've got a, a wire up here that uh, is a lot more flexible and might be able to get through that corry a little bit better. There we go. I'll actually use this one. Now, to use this one, I'm going to have to wind it out. Now I've got the snake out. Let's see how this one goes. Feed him through. No problems at all. No problems because of that flexible end there. Nice and easy. Again, same thing applies. We can just basically grab that wire again. Tie it on there. 
Now there are times where we have problems trying to get these through and it's like I said before, we've got to try and make this end that we're pulling through as smooth as possible. So we can basically wrap that with insulation tape, um, wrap that around a few times just to make it nice and smooth. So insulation tape. What I would typically try to do is get it as straight as possible so that when we pull that through there's no bulky ends, there's no wires protruding to, to get caught up and I'll do the same here on that end just to make it a little bit easier pull it through There are things like cable socks and other uh, tools that you can use to, to do this anyway. So again, help sometimes to feed it through with that first one. And there we go, it's through. Nice and easy, no problems at all. So there you have it. Make sure I cut the right bit. So that's it guys, cable snacks. Nice and easy. Now, a couple of different types there. There's a lot more available on the market. Um, you can get cable tongues as well, or blue tongues, yellow tongues. They're typically for running down walls, trying to get in between noggins and, and things, but I um, hope you get something from that. hope that might help you out in your DIY project, getting your car wired up, your boat wired up, getting your cables through your conduits. Something learnt, hopefully. Thanks guys, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe.